Well, good morning. So I want you guys to think of this scenario. And I heard this from somebody else today, and I'm going to repeat it. I think it's the white privilege guy. I, I don't remember. Joel Patrick, that's his name. And he put this perfectly. You have a house that is getting broken into, okay? And this was his scenario. I'm giving him all the credit. You get tired of this house being broken into. So you put up fencing. You put up a camera. That doesn't work. Gets broken into. You put up security doesn't work. You put up a fence, still gets broken into. You put razor wire on top of the fence around your house. And then because of that, your house stops getting broken into. Okay. Then you get a county sheriff to walk over to you and go, Hey, look, you, you, you can't do this. The people outside are struggling and they're dying. And you go, well, that's not my problem. This is my property. This is my home. I pay for this. I pay taxes on this. Then a federal judge conservative federal judge that we all supported that Donald Trump appointed sides with the illegal the people breaking into your home and says sorry you got to take down the fence you got to take down the razor wire your house just is I'm sorry these people are dying they're struggling you can't you can't do this because that is what the federal government and the supreme court is doing to Texas does it make sense Joel Patrick put it perfectly so you're trying to protect your home from being broken into Cameras don't work, fencing doesn't work, locks on your doors doesn't work. So you put razor wire on top of the fence and all of a sudden your house stops getting broken into, okay? County sheriff comes along and says, you can't do that. You gotta take it down. This is my home. I pay for this home. What, what do you mean I gotta take it down? Then the federal government basically tells you, you can't do that. So it goes to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, then sides with the people trying to break into your home. Do you see where we're going with this? This is what just happened. A conservative judge that Donald Trump appointed literally sided with the illegal immigrants coming through this, coming through this country, coming into your house where your family lives, where your children go to school and your children play in the streets. These people are literally breaking into your home. And the federal government is forcing it and making it happen and making it be so, okay? The president of the United States is suing his own countrymen to allow people to break into your home. And does that, do you understand what we're saying here? Do you understand how disgusting this is? The president of the United States is suing his own countrymen to keep illegals to be able to cross into this country, no money, no background checks, no nothing, where you and I, the taxpayers, are going to have to pay for every single one of them. The cartels, people are being dropped off by busloads, and the federal government is forcing it to happen. Now, Governor Abbott has come out yesterday on Twitter and basically said this fight is not over and he is not going to give up. And some people, even like Tucker Carlson, are calling for the men of Texas to start standing up and defending their nation. Joe Biden is a threat to this country. And just yesterday, there is a video circulating about a man from the Middle East, very well-dressed, glasses, very well-spoken, basically telling the cameraman, yo, yeah, you don't know who I am? Well, you're gonna find out real quick who I am, okay? You don't believe me? Go look it up. It's all over Twitter. These are the people that Joe Biden wants in your home. So when the next attack on America happens on our homeland, you have to understand where it's coming from. And it's coming from Joe Biden and the Democrat Party. Our sovereignty is gone. Our borders are being overrun by millions of people from all over the world, thousands of people. And they can't work, they have no money, but you and I, the taxpayers, are going to have to be paid for all of them. How many more schools, like up in New York, where they're making the kids learn at home so they can house these people? How many more? because this is what's happening in this country today. And you have a conservative judge by, by Donald Trump basically sided with the illegals over American citizens. So keep this in mind when you go to the next election this, this November. Do you want the candidate who's talking about closing the borders down and protecting our sovereignty and deporting all of these people? Or do you want the guy who is suing his own countrymen to keep the flow going into the United States, into your home, into my home, where our kids sleep and our kids go to school. What's more important, American citizens 
or people from all over the world with no checks and balances. When we sit on these, these, these social medias and we tell you to wake up, this is what we mean. The federal government, the Supreme Court, just told Texas their sovereignty doesn't work. We have the right to defend our borders in this nation as a sovereign nation. And Joe Biden basically just told you and me that we don't. Y'all need to remember this when it comes to the next election while the Democrats talk to you about abortion, 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 which is everything they're all saying on Twitter right now. Abortion, your rights are being taken away. Oh, the mean Republicans. They want you to focus on emotional issues instead of what's really happening in this country. And y'all need to wake up. Women, stop being emotional over your fucking rights because it's bullshit. If they cared about abortion, they would have codified Roe v. Wade years ago, and they didn't. They only care about these topics when it comes to election time because of power. They want to stay in power, and they want to keep power, and they're going to make you focus on abortion and gun control and climate change and all of that instead of what's really happening to this country. Y'all need to wake the fuck up for real. Because this isn't parandering, this isn't fear-mongering, this is happening every single day. And there is a war at our southern border and we are being invaded by people from all over the world that don't like us. Okay? You guys need to wake up and realize that. Which candidate do you want to support? The one that wants to close the border and deport all of these people and get them the hell out of here? Or the candidate that is suing his own countrymen to massacre the border and get rid of it? taking down the razor wire because that's what happened yesterday the supreme court voted in biden's favor a judge that we all supported sided with joe biden and is making them remove the razor wire across the border what was working it was slowing the flow of migration down and joe biden basically just said no keep our borders open we want people from all over the world to waltz into our country where you and i have to pick up the tab and pay for all of them California is giving them free health care. Are you getting free health care? I'm not getting free health care. I have to pay for my family's health care. But in California, you get free health care and the taxpayers are going to pay for it. The government is not a business. You have to understand that. They are in the business of taking our money and giving it to whoever they want while they stay rich in their five mansions on the hill. They don't live in your neighborhoods. Their streets aren't covered with migrants. Yours are. Ours are. Do you understand? These politicians don't give a shit about you. They don't give a shit about your abortions. They don't care about none of it. They care about power and they care about staying in power. And y'all need to wake the fuck up for real because this is really what's happening in this country. We have a right like every other country in this world to protect their borders. You and I can't walk into another country's border and expect that country's citizens to pick up the tab for us. But yet here in America, that's exactly what's happening into your home, into my home where our kids are. Their kids get top-notch, not yours. We have to continue to pay. These people are walking across this border. They're getting free housing. They're getting free money, gift cards, free cell phones. Their kids are getting free educations and health care. None of your kids get any of that. And now these Democratic cities right now can't afford the influx of these people. And they're bitching and begging Joe Biden to help. And instead of helping, he's suing his own countrymen to let people come into this country and sit on our dime. So when we're sitting here and we're telling you this stuff, you need to start waking the fuck up and remember this. They want you to focus on emotional issues and not what's really going on in this country. One candidate is talking about stopping the flow of migrants coming across our border, and the other one is suing his countrymen to keep allowing it to happen. You need to wake up. You need to wake up. This is why, amongst a million other things, that I will be voting for Donald Trump. And everyone that I know around me is also going to be voting for Donald Trump. They're going to want you to hate this man. They want you to think he's the Antichrist. He's some fascist dictator. But you and I both know we've already been through one term, and he was none of those things. Stop allowing the media to tell you how to think. This is bullshit, and it's not okay. And America needs to start waking up and realizing that this administration is the enemy of the people. And that is exactly what they are. You want to talk about fascism? That's who Joe Biden is. November, guys, you need to wake up and realize what's about to go on in this country. And it's time you start waking up. Trump 2024 and fuck Joe Biden. Good talk.